Hello everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to my channel. So today will be another video from my beauty room series and I will be organizing my everyday makeup drawer in my makeup vanity. So I'll be going through all of this makeup, taking out some that I didn't like and also shopping my stash and adding new products that I recently got in my PR packages or that I recently purchased. And over here you can see that I have two bags, one from Sephora and one from Beauty Boutique from Shoppers Drug Mart. I'll be adding these recent purchases to my everyday makeup drawer. And by the way, if you haven't seen my PR unboxing video and my recent hauls, I'll be putting a link in my description down below. So let's get started from this side. So first lashes that I have is by Lily Lashes and as you can see, I got them at Sephora. This is how they look inside they are very beautiful but I'm a little bit disappointed because whenever I was cleaning my lashes and removing old glue from the band actually some of the lashes start separating and you can see there is some lashes over here so I was cleaning lashes not the first time I usually very gentle and careful but I don't know what happened here so even though I do like these lashes I think there is time for a change so I'll be taking them out from my everyday drawer so another lashes that I keep here is from House of Lashes and you can see how beautiful this case is and when you open it up you have a mirror inside you can store up to three pair of lashes and also if you open this compartment you have a space where you can put your eyelash glue so I really like this case I think this is amazing case for traveling and also actually these lashes that I have over here is also by house of lashes and they're in style Natalia. So this case will be staying here because I absolutely adore these lashes and also I can add two more pair of lashes if I need to. So I'll be adding three new pair of lashes to my everyday makeup drawer. So first pair of lashes is by Morphe, is their premium lashes and they're in a style slayesh. Second pair is also by Morphe, this is also their premium lashes in a style glambassador. And last but not least, I'm adding one more pair by OPV Beauty. These lashes are so beautiful and also check out the stunning packaging. So these lashes are in a style Annabelle. So next let's talk about primers. So over here I have two Smashbox primers, so these were deluxe samples. So first one is for the finish hydrating under eye primer. I really love this a lot and I'm gonna keep it in my everyday makeup drawer. Another primer is also by Smashbox, so this one is for the finish foundation primer oil free pore minimizing. I don't know why but I don't like how this primer worked with my foundation that I use for every day, so that's why I decided to remove this primer from my everyday drawer. And I'll be putting something different. So next primer that I have over here is from Stila. This is One Step Prime Prep Smooth and Nourishes. I really love this primer. This is not just primer, this is also two-in-one. So this is a primer and skincare. I love it a lot, but because I have two new primers from Stila from their full collection and I want to try those out, I'll be taking out this primer, but get me right, I like this primer a lot and I definitely highly recommend. So next two primers that I have over here is from Makeup Forever. So this one's a step one. I have smoothing primer and also hydrating primer. I do like them both, they're very amazing. I never had any issues with them, but but again, because I want to try something different, I'm taking this out for now. So now let's shop my stash. As you can see in this drawer, I keep my primers. I also have my concealers and also my setting powders. So first of all, I want to take out two new primers from Stila. And I also want to add this Laura Mercier primer. So first primer that I'm adding to my everyday drawer is by Stila. This is new from their fall collection. So this is one step correct kitten skin tone correcting and also brightening primer. So over here we have triple swirled formula. So you can see that the green one is counter correct redness and also lavender is neutralized salveness and champagne color is to illuminate. So cannot wait to test out and try out this new primer. Also new from Stila from their fall collection is one stepped correct eye. So this one is correcting and brightening serum. Again, you can see beautiful texture over here. So I'm adding also this one to my drawer. And last primer that I'm adding is Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. So I just want to finish this primer because I kind of have it for a while now. So I'm just adding it so I can use it every day. So now let's talk about concealers. So the first concealer that I have here is by NARS. And this is Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Medium 1 Custard. So this concealer is my absolute favorite. I use it every time I'm doing my makeup. So this concealer is 
stain. Next product that I have over here is from Becca. So this one is under eye brightening corrector. This is another my favorite product. I use it every time when I'm doing my makeup. It is perfect to brighten up your under eyes. So again, this product is stain. Next over here is Color Correcting Fluid by Urban Decay Naked Skin and the shades that I have over here is Peach. This corrector is perfect to blur out and also illuminate those dark circles under my eyes, so that's why this product is staying. So next concealer that I have is from Doll 10 Beauty. So this one is Hydrolux Concealer in a Light Medium. So I'm gonna take it out because I want to try something different. Next concealer is by L'Oreal, so this is Infallible Full Wear and I'm using shade number 360. 16. So this concealer is my absolute favorite from drugstore, so that's why this concealer is staying over here. I also have Pixel Perfect Concealer from Stila. Even though I like this concealer, it needs to make room for something different, so that's why I'm taking it out. And the first concealer that I'm adding is by Charlotte Tilbury, so this one is Magic Away Concealer, and the shade that I'm using is number 4 Fair. And I'm also adding this deluxe sample from NARS, so this one is in a shade a light to vanilla even though the shade is a little bit lighter for my skin tone but I just want to finish this deluxe sample and I'll be using up to brighten up my face so now we're moving into foundations and the first that I have over here and that I was trying to finish up is this BB cream from Dior so this is a Hydra Life it is no longer available but I'm just trying out to finish this product so it is in shade golden peach it has SPF 30 I absolutely love this product this is my favorite to use during the summer it's very hydrating and it also has amazing coverage and by the way I absolutely adore any foundation products from Dior they are my favorite they look so flawless on my skin no matter what I try from high-end or drugstore your products look the best on my skin. Next foundation that I have over here is from L'Oreal. So this one is Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear and the shade that I'm using is 470. So this is my summer shade. I absolutely love this foundation. This is my absolute favorite from drugstore. This is what I usually wear every day. So that's why this foundation is staying. And I actually have two shades. So this one is my summer shade. 455 is my winter shade. And I typically mix them up when I'm in between. Next foundation that I have over here is from Doll Tan. So this is Doll Skin Anti-Stress Skin Perfector. I really like this one, but because we're moving into fall and winter, I want to switch it up and use something different. So the first foundation that I add into my everyday drawer is by Too Faced. So this is Born This Way foundation and the shade that I'm using is Natural Beige. And second foundation that I'm adding is by Charlotte Tilbury. So this is her Magic Foundation. And shades that I'm using is 6.75 medium. So next product that I have over here is by Marc Jacobs. And this is a mega bronzer coconut perfect tan in shade 104, fantastic. So this is how it looks inside. I absolutely adore this bronzer. It looks so beautiful and flawless on my skin. And the shade is also perfect and it also smells amazing. So this bronzer is staying. So the next bronzer that I have over here is by Physicians Formula and this is a butter bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer. This is my favorite drugstore bronzer. It looks so flawless on the skin. It also smells absolutely delicious. But because I want to try out and test out new products, I'm taking it out. And the shade that I'm using is Sunkiss Bronzer. So the next product that I have over here is from Fenty Beauty. So this is mini of her Kilo White Highlighter and the shade that I have is Hustle Baby. So you can see how this shade looks like. It's very beautiful, but somehow I don't really like how it looks on my skin. And this is not the highlighter that I'm using every day, so that's why I'm taking it out. And the palette that I'm adding to my everyday drawer is Face Palette by Morphe. And it is in shade 8M Medium Wipes. So you can see how this palette looks like. So I have one brightener, I have two bronzers, one contour shade, there is two blushes and also two highlighters. I feel this palette will be perfect for everyday use. I really want to test it out and try it out. So that's why I'm adding it to my everyday makeup drawer. And by the way, don't forget to use my discount code GLAMFAM911. All my discount codes are written in my description box down below. This code is not affiliated 
but it will give you five dollars off of any ten dollars of more purchase at morphe.com so now moving into liquid eyeshadows so the first one that i have is by milani so this one is hypnotic lights holographic eye topper and the shade that i have is 04 starlight so i'm not really using this for everyday makeup so i'm taking this one out so another liquid eyeshadows that i have are by stila so this is a astute shade matte liquid eyeshadows and the shades that i have over here so the more lighter one is sassy and the more darker one is midnight espresso so even though these shades are perfect for everyday and also for that fall makeup i want to take them out because i have new eyeshadow palettes that i want to test out so we'll having a better use of those so next i have five minis stila glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows and even though this is my everyday makeup drawer i still like to use glitter eyeshadows for everyday so i'll be leaving only two shades and taking out the rest so the first shade that i'm leaving is still a glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow in the shade kitten karma this is my absolute favorite shade and second shade that is staying is diamond dust by stila which is another gorgeous silver glittery eyeshadows and these three shades i'm removing and the product that i'm adding to my everyday makeup drawer is by too faced and this is born this way setting powder so i absolutely love this setting powder and i just want to add it to my everyday makeup drawer so i can use it every day and the shadows that i'm adding here for my everyday drawer is from stila cosmetics so this is their magnetic duos so on one side we have matte shadows on another one we have glitter eyeshadows so this is a close-ups and i feel like these shades are perfect for everyday and also for fall makeup so the shades that i have over here is minju lab i also have hot tamale spicy mustard and smitten kitten so this is how they look on one side and here is how they look on another. So this is magnetic duo, so they're very easy to separate and I can just like store them like this in my everyday drawer. So the next product that I have over here is Face Palette by Kylie Cosmetics. This is her Coco collection. It was a collab with Chloe and I absolutely adore this palette. So inside we have a blush, two highlighters and also bronzer. And from the dent on that bronzer, you can see how often I use this palette. It is my absolute favorite. I use it every day i also love to take it with me when i'm going on any vacations or any trip it is so good it blends out so beautifully all the shades looks gorgeous on my skin tone so i absolutely love this palette so that's why this palette is staying so the next product that i have over here is by anastasia beverly hills and amrezi and this is amrezi highlighter and this is how it looks inside it is absolutely gorgeous and my absolute favorite it looks so flawless on the skin it doesn't emphasize texture and also the shade is perfect i absolutely adore this highlighter i use it every day so that's why this highlighter is staying so another my absolute favorite is powder by charlotte tilbury and this one is brush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder in the shade 2 medium so absolutely adore this powder it's so finely milled that it looks beautiful and absolutely flawless on my skin i like to set up my under eye area i also like to set up my face on my forehead and also on my smile lines anywhere where foundation may crease it looks so flawless and so beautiful and this is my absolute favorite so this powder is staying so now let's talk about brow products so two products that i had over here is one liquid this is a stila stale day waterproof brow color and another one is a pencil by l'oreal so this is brow stylish definer and the shade that i use here is brunette and shade of stila brow color is dark so this is how stila stale day waterproof brow color looks like so this is a brow pen and you can draw hair like strokes on your brows and it looks like microblading it is so precise and so easy to use but i usually don't use it every day i usually use this pen when i'm doing kind of like a full face of makeup doing more like a glam style so i want to take it out from here because i want to replace it with a new product from stila that i will be using every day so the pencil from l'oreal is stained because this is usually what i'm using for everyday makeup and this is my favorite drugstore option and the new product that i'm adding is also by stila so this is sketch and scalp and the shades that i have over here is dark so on one side we have pencil 
And on another side, we have spooling. So I'll be adding this new product from Stila to my everyday makeup drawer. So next I have liquid eyeliner from Milani. So this one I'm taking out. I also have a mini from Stila Stay All Day waterproof liquid eyeliner in a shade intense black. So this one is staying. I absolutely love it. So I also have Estee Lauder Pure Carla intense eyeliner pencil. I absolutely love it. So this one is staying as well. I really like to use it in my waterline. I also have two lip pencils. So one is by Charlotte Tilbury. So this one is a lip sheet in the shade Iconic Nude. This is my absolute favorite nude shade. This is how it looks up close. I love it so much and use it kind of like daily. Another my favorite is from Drugstore. So this one is Milani Color Statement Lip Liner and the shade that I'm using number three nude. So you can see that the shade from Milani is more like pinky nude shade and the shade from Charlotte Tilbury this one is more like a neutral brown nude shade. I absolutely love both and use them daily. So that's why they both are staying. And I'm adding clear brow gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So the next product that I have over here is by MAG and it is in the shade Candid Nectar. So this is how it looks inside. I really love it, but I want to take it out from here and just put it in my bathroom because it will be easier for me to use it there at night or in the morning when I want to scrub my lips. So next I have this deluxe sample from Milk Makeup and this is Lip and Cheek in the shade Work. So I got this as a birthday present at Sephora, so I'm taking this out. I also have these two products from Doll 10 Beauty. So on one side we have lip gloss and on another side we have lipstick. And even though this is a perfect shade for every day, I already use them, so I want to try out something different, so I'm taking them out. Next that I have over here is Color Statement Lipstick by Milani, and the shade that I have is 26 Nude Cream. So this is how the shade looks like. So this is my favorite drugstore lipsticks. So this one is staying. And last but not least, I have Beauty Boss by Stila in the shade Casual Fridays. I absolutely love this lip glosses. They are very hydrating. They look so beautiful on the lips. But because I already was using it for so long, I want to take it out, even though I have a lot of shades and I absolutely love them all. So first product that I'm adding to use for every day is Powder by Benefit Full Proof Brow Powder. And the shade that I'm using is number 5. So on one side we have more lighter brow powder and another side is more darker. So it is perfect for me to use for every day. I absolutely love it. So that's why I'm adding it to my everyday makeup drawer. And I'm also adding here three new glosses from Maybelline. This is their Lifted Glosses and they have hyaluronic acid in them. If you have never tried them out, I highly recommend. They are so good. I just recently posted my swatch video and also my review if you haven't seen it yet. I will put a link in my description down below so you can check it out. And three shades that I'm adding over here is number three Moon, number six Reef and number five Petal. So we are moving to the last portion of the video. I only have makeup that is left in this makeup organizer and also all of the palettes over here. So let's start from this makeup organizer. And the first product that I have over here is Lip Conditioner by MAC. I absolutely love this product. I love to use it every day before applying my makeup. So this product will be staying. Another product that I have over here is eyeliner by Doll 10 Beauty to the point. So one side is perfect to do your line. Another applicator is more smaller, so this one will be perfect to define. So this product I'll be removing. I also have two mascaras by Stila Cosmetics. So on top I have Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara and at the bottom is Triple X Magnum Mascara. So this is how the wand looks like. So at the bottom I have Huge Extreme Lash Mascara and and at the top I have Magnum Triple X Mascara. I really like to use this huge mascara for my lower lashes and Magnum Triple X Lash Mascara I really like to use for my upper lashes. Even though I like them both, but there is a time for a change. I also have a brow product from Dalton Beauty Arch Master. So it has a pencil, it also has tinted gel and it also has powder in the middle. So even though I like this product, I will be taking this out. Next one is MAC Prep and Prime Lip. So this is kind of like a lip balm that I use to prep my lips before applying any lip product. I absolutely love it. It also helps in preventing those lip lines, so this one will be staying. I kind of like using it every time when I prep my lips for lipstick. And last two products that I have over here is my most favorite eyelash adhesive by House of Lashes and also my favorite tweezers by Tweezerman. So these bows are also staying. 
animals to keep in this mock lip conditioner and also mock prep and prime. So first I'm adding Milk Makeup Push Mascara. I really like this mascara and I love to use it for everyday looks. And you can see how the wand looks like. So it has fibers and it's extra warm to my lashes. And I'm also adding product from my recent drugstore purchases. So this one is from Shoppers Drug Mart Beauty Boutique. And I'm adding my Too Faced Hanover Pillow Balm. So this is how the packaging looks like and I cannot wait to test it out. I also have this setting powder from OPB Beauty, but I'm taking it out because I already put my Born This Way to Face setting powder. So now let's talk about all of the palettes. So first palette that I have over here is by Too Faced, so this one is Chocolate Gold. I absolutely love this palette, it has essential matte for eyeshadows and it also has stunning shimmers and you can see that all of the shades are very gorgeous and it also smells like chocolate. This is one of my favorite palettes by Too Faced, but I'm taking it out from this drawer because I recently got another eyeshadow palette from Too Faced and it will be replaced by a new palette. So next what I have over here is Blush Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Radiant. And it has four blushes. I love them so much, but again, I'm taking it out because I just added more few face palettes that have more blushes in it. So I just need to make more room for eyeshadow palettes. Next palette that I have over here is Sephora Pro. And this one is Pro Pigment Palette New Nudes. And this is how the palette looks like. It is so beautiful. I like all of the shades, but I'm also taking out this palette. Next palette is also by Too Faced. This is just peachy mattes. And this is how this palette looks inside. It is absolutely stunning. It has only matte shadows, but I really fell in love with this palette. And that is the purpose of doing this everyday makeup drawer and switching the products out. Because sometimes we forget about our favorite products. We just keep them in our drawers. And then when we put them out and use them again, we remember why we felt in love with them. So this palette smells like peaches. I love this palette so much. If you like shimmery eyeshadows, you will need another palette so you can add shimmers to your looks. But it has so many gorgeous and absolutely stunning matte colors. I love this palette a lot. And the last palette that I have over here is by Huda Beauty. This is her Mercury Retrograde palette. So this is how it looks inside. This is one of my most favorite palettes by Huda Beauty. I like it so much, but it's time for a switch, so I'm taking this palette as well. So the first product that I'm adding is from my recent Sephora purchases. And it is a shadow palette by Too Faced. Born This Way is the Natural Nudes. So this is how it looks like. And this is how the palette looks inside. I already used this palette. I tried out a couple of shades. In a most recent video with Maybelline lip gloss swatches, this is a palette that I used on my eyes. So I cannot wait to use it more, try out other shades. So you'll probably see makeup tutorial using this palette in one of my upcoming videos. And next palette that I'm adding is 35C Everyday Cheek by Morphe. So this is how the palette looks inside. It is perfect for everyday makeup. It also has stunning full eyeshadows. So I just recently got this palette in PR package. I really want to test it out. So I'm adding this palette to my everyday makeup drawer. So the next palette that I also add into my everyday drawer is Natasha Denona Lila palette. So this is how this palette looks inside. I absolutely forgot about this palette. I haven't it used for a while. And you can see that it has stunning eyeshadows, perfect for fall makeup and also for everyday. So I'll be adding this palette to my everyday makeup drawer so I can give it a better use and show her some love. And last but not least, I have eyeshadow palette by Pat McGrath. And this one is Mothership Subversive. So you can see how it looks inside. It has so many gorgeous eyeshadows. Some of them are dual chromes. You can see how they shift different colors. So I haven't used this palette for a while, so I decided to take it out and give it some love and start using it more often. So that's why I decided to put it here. So I also want to get myself Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette, but so far we don't have it yet in Canada. I'm waiting for it so badly. As soon as I will get it, I will also put it right here to use for everyday makeup. I already saw holiday collection coming out from Too Faced. Some of my influencer friends that live in US already got holiday collection and we still don't have pumpkin spice. I don't know when we're gonna have it in Canada, but I'm patiently waiting and as soon as I will get it, I will just put it right here. 
So this is all of the makeup that I put in my everyday makeup drawer. I really hope that you like this video where I organize my makeup vanity and also shop my stash. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that like button if you enjoy and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!